What's up guys, it's Alex the Magician here back for another Heroes 3 gameplay video and in this one I wanted to demonstrate how to play a bad biome. So this is something that some of you guys have been asking for and it's something that I wanted to do for a while uh, but just lately I haven't had any games on my stream that had really bad biomes so I wasn't able to upload a game from the stream so I just decided to do it on my own time. This is not, I'm not uh, from the stream I'm not streaming right now so uh, yeah essentially what I want to demonstrate here is kind of how I said it in my break before 131 video is that you should be able to break before 131 in like 90 to 95 percent of cases and it's all just about seeing what the map gives you seeing what your biome gives you, seeing what tools you have in terms of heroes, skills, etc., and seeing what your break is and just figuring out how you can tackle it. You know, you're not going to be able to break super early depending on, you know, how bad your break is and how bad your biome really is, but you should still be able to do it as long as you just uh, kind of take advantage of what you have to work with, what the map actually gives you. All right. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So, let's see. Starting over here, 74 trogs. Not the highest roll of trogs. All right, we got Solmir. So, Solmir is already something that we can utilize for his chain lightning. That's something that can definitely help us. Necro Amulet. Uh, nothing too great. So, let's just start scouting with Solmir probably in this direction. I'm not going to pick up the wood, I will pick up the gold along the road. Again, the priority for the early game is to scout as much as possible, as quickly as possible. As I always say, there is a video that I have uh, specifically on scouting, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. Alright, this treasure chest, I could potentially pick it up for XP. And we also have 1-1 um, one, one attack that can be helpful. I can go for the crypts with Shakti, Dwarven Treasury over there. Now let's go ahead and buy Arlach, keep the Ballista, and uh, let's send him this way. Uh, a couple of chests over here, I could actually leave those potentially for Shakti. I'm actually thinking maybe I can go with Shakti here, pick up the treasure chest, do the crypt, and then pick up the other treasure chest. That may be a viable option here. Right, let me go ahead and buy one more hero. Send them down in this direction. We have the other crypt here. So I might actually do this crypt with Shakti first and pick up this treasure chest and then do this crypt. All right, I'll pick this pile of gold up. All right, we've got um, a block of orc chieftains, but there's not too many of them. And I got a 2-2 sword here, which is nice. I think uh, I'm probably not going to clear the block just yet because I really don't want to lose any army in the early game right now. And since I can actually go around them, that should be fine. Uh, Dwarven treasury over here should probably scout in this direction. Should probably scout in that direction. But at this point, I feel like I am going to be sending Shakti there. The only other thing is I could potentially send Shakti for the Dwarven Treasury, but I actually think going over here is better because uh, I can do a Crypt right away and then I can pick up the Treasure Chest and I can do this Crypt and then pick up that Treasure Chest potentially. I might not pick up that one for experience on Shakti depending on how much movement I have left, but let's see what we can do here. So, right, we're upgrading the Troglodytes so that we can do the Crypts. And yeah, we're gonna go for this one first. All right, actually gotta delete the null. The reason that I brought the null was because, well, I could have bought one more hero, I suppose, but the reason I brought it is because you need a one stack for a size three or four crypt. And uh, I have crypt guides on my YouTube as well, so you guys can check those out if you want to. All of these patterns you um, will memorize eventually with practice. All right, 600 moves here, right? Okay, perfect. So I can pick up this treasure chest for XP. It's only 500, that's really annoying, but oh well, I'll take it anyway. All right, well, let's go ahead and buy one more hero now. And ooh, we do have Luna. Well, that's interesting, that is interesting. All right, you know what? Uh, I think this treasure chest I'll leave for Luna then. I think uh, we're probably gonna start leveling up Luna and uh, trying to figure out so we have Solmir and we have Luna. So that's already some good stuff that we have. 
Um, you know, but maybe I'm not gonna level Luna just because Luna is kind of an easy way out, um, you know, and she can do a lot of stuff by herself. So perhaps, perhaps Cyclops over here, Speed Boots over here, that's nice. Okay, I'll probably send Shakti, or actually I can use Arlaf to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm actually not gonna level up Luna. Uh, just to show you guys that, you know, you can make do. I like, I feel like using Luna would be kind of cheating a little bit. So uh, yeah, we're just, uh, we're not gonna utilize her, I think. Um, right, so what do we do here? Just give the army to Shakti, give him a one stack. All right. Now we'll go for this crypt, and this is a size three, and this is why I need the one stack. So usually, you know, so that the vampires go forward because the vampires outspeed my trogs. Uh, and that's what I usually do. I usually, when I go into the crypts, um, when I don't know the size specifically, then I bring a one stack anyway, because if it's a size three or four, then, you know, like this, I can only do it with losing only one one stack off double uh, amulet of the Undertaker. If we have an altar of sacrifice, it would really be nice to level up Luna or maybe at least Solmir. But uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm going to go for Luna. I'm not going to take the easy way out. I'm going to show you guys that uh, you can play this even with... Um, you know, without a ro high rolling Luna or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's why I bring the one stack. Uh, and then in case it's a size one or two, then I just delete the one stack. All right, um, so let me see. Let me speed up shock team like so. And then, and, and, then, and. yeah, I'll send Luna this way. Like I said, I'm not going to level up Luna. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna utilize Luna at all for farming, just to, all right, there's a free artifact over here, I want to get the speed boots also, actually, yeah, let me go ahead, there's a stables there, which is nice, there's pyre, uh, can I reach the stables, I'm not quite sure, okay. So right now, I'm just gonna use Luna to scout, and um, I may... I may send Shakti over here to pick up this treasure chest for experience. There's another treasure chest over here. Would have been really nice to level up Luna. A couple of quest artifacts over here, 1599. Yeah, we're not going to be fighting those anytime soon. So th this direction would have been actually nice to level up Luna, especially since there's also spell power on the way. But again, yeah, like I said, we're not going to be taking the easy way out here. Uh, we're going to be dealing with whatever we have to deal with, with, um, you know, everything else. Solmir, I might level up. Solmir, I might. Uh, so actually, this treasure chest I might pick up with Solmir in a second. Mm, I mean, for, for experience. Let me see. 1.5k. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me level up Solmir. Solmir, you know, I will use more knowledge, advanced sorcery, basic intelligence. I'm not going to take intelligence. All right, so we're going to continue to scout. And Pyre, Pyre over here, yeah, go this way so that we can uh, grab the speed boots ne next turn. That should work out for us. All right, and uh, a couple more heroes. So let's scout this way and let's scout that way. Right, let's go ahead and buy Harpies so that we're a little bit faster. Dwarven Treasury. Uh, we have an eye dwelling over here. Lorelei. Lorelei has scouting. See witches for a box. Probably not something that we really want to do. We see a Medusa dwelling over here. Red tower over here. Yeah, so, so far, another box over here, but it's difficult. So, so far, we're not seeing a whole lot at all, right? No dragon caves, no minotaur layers, no, uh, no manticore layers, no objectives at all. Uh, looks like we do see a dragon cave over here, actually, but it's a throng of harpy hags guarding it. So, yeah, that's um, not something that we're going to be able to do, like, ever. I mean, a throng of harpy hags, it's suicidal to do on our day, uh, on our early game army. Yeah, we see one red tower, but red towers are kind of meh. So, yeah, so far it's definitely looking pretty bad. 
but let's see what we can do. I think the plan uh, right now is to get the speed boots at least so that Shakti can have more movement. And then I might send Shakti up here for the treasure chest to actually level him up a little bit. Um, yeah, and then we'll see. I mean, we're going to have to find something. Uh, we're going to need to scout the break. We're going to need to try to pick up as many artifacts as we can and see um, what we can deal with or how we can deal with what we have. So we have a freet. It's not a freet Sultan's break. And we have a Harpy Hags box over here, okay? So uh, it's not a freet Sultan's, which is not too bad. Uh, but, you know... It's still not not a, the greatest break in the world. And actually, you know, now maining Luna and going for the break, yeah, would not have uh, worked out for us. All right, let's continue to scout this way. I'm going to pick up a little bit more gold. A little bit more gold. Tavern over here. Another tavern. So more gold that we can pick up here. All right, Axis, go ahead and continue to scout this way. We see another Medusa dwelling, and we see another Eye dwelling, but this one is guarded. Okay, but right now, we have two Medusa dwellings, and we have two Eye dwellings. So I think we can already kind of, um, you know, and that's, that's kind of all that we see. And worst case scenario, worst case scenario, we may be just going for Medusas and Eyes and try to break on like one, two, one with uh, the portal of summoning and uh you know building the pillar of eyes and uh you know gathering all of them on one two one and also been building the uh, medusa dwelling as well all right see and here we actually see one more pillar of eyes although it's vampire lords guarding it so it's a little bit annoying there's a dwarven treasury in the box here but yeah if we can actually gather all of the eye dwellings, if we can get all three of them, plus the two Medusa dwellings, plus build Medusa's and eyes in our town, um, and with mass slow, that actually should be enough to break. That actually should be enough to break. So that's already kind of what I'm thinking, right? Uh, you know, we don't really see any other objectives. We don't really see anything else for us to do. Speed Cape, that's nice. Speed Cape is actually really nice. Uh, looks like a block over here, but we can actually get around it. So let's go. Hmm. We do see a cons. We do see a con. So that's something. All right. Here's a block that we can't get around. All right. A scroll over here, a scroll over here. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and do the... Uh, I'm going to do the Dwarves fight. I can do it on Pyre, I think. Uh, let me... Okay, Eyes. You know what? I'm going to save the Eyes as much as possible. I'll use... Um, here. I'll do it like this. Level 3 Shrine. Let's hope we don't lose too many Trogs. The problem is the Trogs tie speed. Yeah, it's 45 of them. They tie speed with the Battle Dwarf, so that's going to be a little bit annoying. Alright, but um, I think we should be able to manage. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Gremlin uh, 1 stacks to try to get these guys... Uh, to attack them and uh, we'll use the gargoyles to kind of separate yep that's perfect that is perfect so let's move the gremlins forward um, Ooh, didn't actually one shot that sucks all right so actually hold on yeah you know what I'm gonna back up with the trogs here all right and now let me utilize the gremlins like this. Okay. That's what I'm going to do, I think. Okay. All right. Uh, so the 12 stack is going to move first. Uh, this guy is going to go for the ballista, it looks like. So what we're going to do... Yeah, what we're going to do is, yeah, we'll just move the trogs forward a little bit. All right, here we can wait. Okay, I think that guy, oh, that guy moves last, actually. So it's this guy who moves first. Damn. 
Uh, we might take a hit on our troglodytes here. Yeah. Can get morale, unfortunately. Oh, and because the ballista moves last, damn, looks like we might take one more hit on our trogs. Yeah, and this is why it's challenging to do fights like this. All right, you know what? It's, uh, it's a bit challenging to do fights like this when whatever you're fighting outspeeds you. Right. Uh, you know what? Let's try to just utilize the ballista as much as possible. Here are six of them left. Uh, you know, I do have another ballista, so even if we lose this ballista, it doesn't even matter. So that's, I think that's what we'll do. We'll lose the ballista rather than losing a few more troglodytes. All right, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. All right, so I move last. Perfect. Like that, yeah. I'd, I'd rather lose the Ballista than a few more Troglodytes. Uh, and especially since we have another Ballista somewhere. On Shakti? Yeah. Alright, uh, I'll send Arlach up here, scout a little bit more, pick up this ring. Yeah, it is a Dragon Cave we have here, but a throng of Harpy Hags is not something that's doable at all right now. So, uh, yeah, let's just continue to go this way. Dispel, great. By that, I mean not great. All right, so speed boots on walked in. And um, do I send him up is the question. I mean, I can send him up and think about the cons here, but the problem with the cons, uh, I mean, we do need to clear this block um, but the problem with the cons is if it's anything besides a size one, I'm not going to be able to take it. So, um, what I'm thinking right now is that I do want to flag the beholder dwellings or the, the eye dwellings. Oh, you know what? You know what I think I can do? I can use Solmir to flag this one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I can use this chain lightning to kill the lizardman here. And I want to flag the uh, all of the eye dwellings and the Medusa dwellings, right? And I also want to build up to eyes and Medusas, and I want to get the por portal of summoning as well. Okay, so uh, that's that's sort of what I'm thinking about, guys, uh, right now. So you see, like, the, the map is poor in terms of, um, you know, creature dwellings and objectives, but since it is giving us some ranged units, right, and we should have a good chance of rolling Earth Magic with Shakti, so if we can get mass slow against the Ifrit and just utilize the uh, eyes and Medusas, that should be okay for the break. All right, the question is, where do I send Shakti? Um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about sending him up, actually. Because, yeah, I think I'm going to use Solmir to grab this eye dwelling. Or, and actually, you know what we can do? We can poor man Solmir, right? Yeah, we can poor man Solmir on the knolls over here, chain the army to him, and buy him over here in this tavern, and then uh, flag this dwelling and then that dwelling, get the portal of summoning so that I can get eyes rather than Medusas, because it looks like eyes are going to be more of our power stack, and then Shakti, and Shakti goes this way, and then with some additional eyes, maybe we can do the cons. All right, now let's, um, yeah, that's sort of what I'm thinking right now. Let's go. Um, and... Yeah, let's go ahead and speed up Shakti like this, and I think, yeah, I will pick this up for XP, advanced tactics, basic archery. You know what, archery, I think I'll take, because we are going to have arranged stacks that we're going to need to deal with, and, you know, like 50 eyes and uh, like 20 medusas are not going to be dealing, dealing that much damage by themselves, so... Actually, and there's an, the Altar of Sacrifice, by the way, where we can level up Luna a little bit. But again, as I said, I don't think I'm going to do that. Hmm, air magic on Shakti, that kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to skip it. Yeah, okay. So next turn, I would like to have the army over here so that we can clear that block, right? 
Um, but at the same time, I would also like to pour a man Solmir and send him over here. Okay, you know what? I'll probably be doing that with Solmir next turn or the following turn, right? Right now, we're just going to send the army up here. Yeah, we're going to send the army up here to Shakti. Shakti then uh, gives it to Luna. Luna clears the nulls, moves forward. Also, Shakti can get this treasure chest for XP. And then we'll check the size of the cons, position for the cons. In the meantime, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this eye dwelling, this eye dwelling. We'll get this Medusa dwelling and that Medusa dwelling. Probably not this eye dwelling because right now it's just vampire lords, which I don't really want to deal with on a side hero. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna build, well, we already built eyes, we'll build Medusas and try to do the cons with that actually. And um, what I think I also need is one more hero. Arlach, I don't wanna get rid of you. Uh, 59 seconds, we gotta move, hmm. Okay, I don't wanna get rid of Brawn, I don't wanna get rid of Luna, I don't wanna get rid of Pyre, I don't wanna get rid of Axis, okay. Well, we'll need to get another hero next turn to go over here to grab the eyes uh, from this dwelling. But I guess that's not going to be this turn. All right, let's go. Okay, so Solomir Poromans, like so. Actually, this hero I could have gotten rid of. Yeah, Lorelei. Yeah, we didn't need Lorelei. Should have gotten rid of her. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, Lorelei is fine to go for the Eye Dwelling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So she's going to get the Eye Dwelling. We also have a plus four. Flail over over here. Um, now let's go ahead and continue to collect some gold. I think we're going to need a decent amount for all of the dwellings and stuff. Now we have a gold mine here. I'm not going to go for it just yet, though. Arlach, Arlach, uh, plus luck and morale. Yeah, let's go ahead and chain that here. I think we're gonna need it. Uh, there's, you can scout this way, I suppose. Luna Pyre, right? Um, yeah. So chain that over here. For now, I don't think we're gonna buy any additional units. Uh, like Axis, go ahead and buy Solmir over here. There's Gunner. All right. And Solmir could pick this up for experience. Actually, and it's only there's air magic on Solmir. That's actually nice. Um, okay, and then next turn you're going to be doing that. Axis. So you're going to be chaining. There's a tavern that should help us chain with Pyre. And you know what? Arlach should actually help chain. Is what he should do. Right, let's go ahead and give this to Shakti so that we can clear the block. Yeah, we're not gonna fight them because we have bad morale. Okay, more experience here, advanced tactics, cool. And um, yeah, the Nulls, we will fight on Shakti, I think. Let's just make sure we don't lose anything important here. Okay. Okay, they did morale. Good, good, perfect. All right. Um, and now, yeah, I think we position ourselves for the cons here. But first, but first, I'm gonna go and uh, figure out that side town was Luna. There's a redwood, nice. I say it's a free town, that's great. That is actually really, really good. Well, actually it's not that amazing. We see a hive here, but 1019 magic elemental is not something we wanna fight. So yeah, um, <clears throat> the plan once again is um, to try to do that cons. 
after so after we get all of the i dwellings or at least two of the i dwellings right the i dwelling here the i dwelling here let me go ahead and build the chapel of stilled voices uh so we'll have additional medusas here we have a little bit of gold here with brawn we're going to collect even more gold um and we just need to make sure that we're going to be able to chain this all the way back here right okay i might actually need to get rid of our lack and position another hero in a slightly better spot all right let's go ahead and get a tavern here and we can buy gunner actually too bad that we can't upgrade the troglodyte but oh well Now, at this point, I suppose I could try to level up Luna on the Altar of Sacrifice to be a little bit more helpful. But again, as I said, you know, if it was a real game, I would certainly be leveling up Luna. But I don't want to I don't want to feel like I cheated you guys into, uh, you know, just like, hey, this is how you deal with a bad bomb. Just roll Luna, you know. So um, although in this case, we wouldn't have been able to deal with a break with Luna anyway, but still um right so a little bit of gold i don't think i'm gonna buy any additional air elementals or pixies here because uh, i just don't have a whole lot of gold you know, i should have picked up some additional gold here actually about sorry all right uh so shakti let's go ahead and clear those other troglodytes like so and check the size of the cons. Okay, should be fine here. Okay, good. Oh, and by the way, there is a conflux town over here, so we could try to buy earth magic if we need to. And the size of the cons is size two. Uh, yeah, so we should actually be able to do it. We should actually be able to do it next turn with all of the eyes and the um, medusas that we're going to gather. Just need to make sure that we can gather all of them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to speed up Shakti like so. Would definitely be nice to get Earth Magic before we do the cons, but I think we're going to be doing the cons first. All right. So, yeah. So the plan here is to chain the army like so to Pyre. Pyre chains it down here uh, to Arlach. Hmm. Okay, so we kind of need it over here, right? And then, yeah, we grab the eye dwelling here. We grab the eye dwelling and the Medusa dwelling here. And then we chain that all the way back to Shakti to do the cons. Um, chaining is going to be slightly tough here, to be honest. So let's see. Well, with this tavern, we can... Yeah, I have to get rid of Arlach, actually and get another hero. And the other chain that I'm worried about is uh, Laura Lay chaining these guys back. So 300 moves, right? So she's not gonna be able, she'll be like 600 moves away. So likely we have to buy another hero here. All right, gold is gonna be a little bit of a problem, but um, let's, hope that, let's hope that we can manage, all right. So let's see, we might also need two additional heroes next turn. All right, so we buy Pyre over here. Oris goes over here, gives the army to Axis. Axis gives the army to Solmir. Solmir uh, does this dwelling, also flags that dwelling, maybe even does the crypt. Then we chain the army back. Lorelei grabs additional eyes. We buy more eyes. Portal of Summoning, I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to afford it. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to afford the portal of summoning next turn because we're also going to need a few more heroes, like probably two more heroes, maybe even three. 
Uh, so that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for everything. So we might be skipping the portal of summoning. So we'll see. We'll see how this works out. All uh, right. So we need gold and we see another cons over here and uh, spell powered chest. This cons is big. So yeah, uh, couldn't have done that anyway. All right. So we do have a little bit of gold though. So that's nice. All right, Gunner. Go ahead and chain this to Pyre. You chain this to Oris. And Oris gives us to Axis. Can get one more hero over here if necessary. All right, access, give it over here. Okay, and uh, yeah, Solomir just clears that. Actually, let's not bring the eyes at this point. Yeah, we're gonna do it like that. Okay, let's go. All right, perfect. Yeah, I don't care about the gremlins. Uh, I mostly care about not losing one, two, three, four, five, 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 okay. Yeah, I mostly just care about not losing any troglodytes here. Do I have a magic arrow? No, I don't. Right, uh, yeah, so, and this is why, this is why Solmir is uh, really nice, because without him, we would have lost a lot more troglodytes here. Okay, so we need to flag the Medusa dwelling, and now I would like to build the portal of summoning. Question is, am I going to have the gold for that, because I need to get more heroes too. Let's see, how far can Lorelei go? Over here, so... I need one more hero here. Mm, probably need one more hero here. Better do that. I think we're not getting the portal of summoning right now. Yeah, we're just gonna have to hope that we get uh, eyes from the portal of summoning uh, next week and not Medusa's or, or this week even. Yeah, but we are gonna flag the Medusa dwelling, I think. All right, and I also think that we're gonna go for the crypt here as we need additional gold. Okay. Shoot here. Wait. Okay, nice. Those guys got stoned. Mm, that's not quite nice. Oh well. Attacking the trogs, of course. Okay, nice. That's pretty much what I wanted here. 
because zombies will still move though so let me do this hmm. it's not quite what i wanted but oh well we lost a couple of trogs here but we kept our eyes lost our medusas but oh well five trogs lost yeah it's a bit annoying but uh oh well you gotta do what you gotta do all right um you know what i think we're gonna do here i think we're actually gonna send shakti for the town and uh grab magic university here and get him earth magic we're really gonna need it we're really gonna need earth magic and uh, i think right now the chaining doesn't quite work out so we're just gonna do the cons next turn uh after buying shakti earth magic that's uh that's gonna be the plan here So yeah, we're not gonna worry about the chaining just yet. Hmm. Would be nice to also grab this. Advanced air on Solmir, eh? All right, but let me go ahead and buy the portal of summoning here. All right, we got eyes, perfect. And I'll buy mage guild over here. Send Shakti over here. Buy him a spell book. We don't have slow, we don't have haste. There's slow and there's haste, good. Um, actually, I almost feel like haste would even be better than slow here, but I think slow is very important. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Pick up some more resources over here with Luna. All right, and here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna try to grab the sword as well. And then Gunner, right, so then Lorelei goes over here, gives us everything, or right, we got the Portal of Seven, she buys everything. We could even upgrade the eyes next turn. That would be a thought, actually. With the upgraded eyes, they outspeed Griffins, um, so that may be good. And then we can grab the Cape 5099 Beholders here, though. That is a lot. All right. So, let's just make sure that the chaining here works out. So let's see, I think I'll send Solmir over here mm, for the sword. Do we need the sword? I feel like we kind of do, but I probably need the additional army before we do that. So I think I can get Pyre to chain that. So let me actually put Gunner over here as close as possible. All right, I think that should work out. Let's go. All Alright, so um, let's start by trying to get the sword. I hope that these guys run away. We need more gold over here. Okay, Brawn. Um, can you actually reach this? Alright, let's try that. Okay, 1.5k here, Lorelei. Go this way, buy everything over here. And we need gold for Magic University and also to buy Earth Magic for Shakti. Uh, really hoping that these guys just run away. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so 4.3k. Five point two K, um six K. 
Alright, um, I think we can trade. I think we can trade here. So I'll need to get a marketplace in a dungeon town. Here we're buying Magic University, since Shakti did not really cooperate in rolling Magic, or Earth Magic. Uh, so let's go ahead and trade that. So we need 7k. And are we going to get Pixies? Nah, I don't think we're going to get Pixies. Okay, perfect. Um, should I also try to roll Haste? Try to do that. I'm gonna leave one of each resource also so that we can so that we can also get um, the upgraded eye dwelling. And then we're also going to need to figure out taking this eye dwelling. We'll also probably farm the dwarven treasury so that we can get as much. Uh, what did I want to get? Oh yeah, I wanted to try to reroll haste. Yeah, because I feel like haste is going to be more useful for the cons fight if we can get it. Nope, we cannot. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Mm, scroll, maybe haste. Nope. Right. Uh, okay, well, this is definitely gonna be a challenging fight over here. Ice Trogs, Medusas, Medusas die. Hopefully the ice survives some way, somehow. Three, four, like that. All right, let's go. All right, uh, so I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm probably gonna wait until next turn so that I can get upgraded holders or, you know, evil eyes. Uh, I think that's probably going to work out better for us. Because that way we outspeed the regular Griffins. It is already day six though. We really want to grab the last eye dwelling as well before the end of the turn. I also really wish I had something else to give me more spell power. But oh well. Okay, Soul Mirror. All right, let's see how this goes. So, yeah, I do want to get that upgraded pillar of eyes. All right, upgrade these guys. Cool. And that's and that's how we're going to go for the cons. 
should be fine. So basically, yeah, the reason that I did all of that, the reason that I delayed by this much uh, to do the cons is because the evil eyes are really going to help us a lot in the cons fight. And without them, it would have been much more difficult. Alright, so... Okay. Uh, Alright, so we're just gonna reposition our... Hmm, I really wish I could have slowed these guys actually. So you know what? I think what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna slow this stack here. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna... Nah, I think we do reposition. I think we do reposition. Okay. And then the Medusas go here. Cool. That's actually really nice. Alright, uh, I think we can slow the stack one more time. Okay, perfect. And now... Who do we attack? Do we attack the slowed stack? I think so. Mm. That morale was annoying. Okay, nice. They actually go for the troglodytes and not the eyes. Uh, might even want to utilize bless here. No, I think I'll use slow over here. Okay, let's stay out of range of that guy. All right, shield maybe now or bless. Let's try bless. Okay, it's not bad. All right, well, I think that's just about as well as we could have done here. And I lost five eyes is what I, I like. I don't care about losing the troglodytes. I care mostly about losing eyes, which I really don't want to lose, but oh well. Uh, 26 eyes, so if we take the other eye dwelling next turn, and if we, so let's see, we have 777 seven, seven, plus another 10, so that's 31, 31 more, and if we happen to get lucky and portal them, so that's going to be 31 of them. You know what? I might actually go for the boxes here as well with Shakti. Okay, so what do I want to do now? I kind of want to clear the beholders over here for the speed cape. Mm. But at the same time, I don't really want to lose any additional beholders here, which I will by fighting them, I think. Probably go ahead and get the gold mine and then I'll probably pour them out on these and I'll get it later. I'll get it uh, before I go for the break, I think. I do think I want the gold mine. And I think Shakti is just going to pour them out next turn like so. Okay. And then here. Okay, I think I want to get one more hero. to position to grab that other dwelling. Dwarven treasury, I can also try to get the Medusa dwelling potentially, if I can. All right. So here we just chain the army down. Oh, spell power, right, the rib cage. I should have picked that up. That would have made the fights in the cons better actually, but that's all right. Um, overall, you know, so like this game, really just goes to show like this is a challenging situation we're dealing with a bad biome we're dealing with a break that is not that great either 
we're also dealing with you know uh, suffering losses and whatnot like in that crypt like in the cons but uh, we're still kind of managing we still have a plan and things are mostly going according to plan so if we do have uh, you know, still 26 eyes and we get another uh, 31 of them, maybe 38 of them. That's already like 50 or 60 eyes. And that's uh, a stack that's going to really help us against the break, especially with expert archery and uh, with mass slow. So that's that's really still our plan. All right. Um, just trying to think. Okay, so send Oris over here. And Pyre, yeah, you can chill here. You can be the one to flag the Medusa dwelling, hopefully. And then we do the Dwarven Treasury. Shakti, poor man's. Uh, probably doubles his mana. And then I might actually send him for the box over here. Yeah, I might do this box with Shakti. Because that could be experience and it could also be meat. And then this box I'll probably do on the way back here with Kincaria, because that can also be meat. I should think about that last cons as well. Um, but yeah, at this point, I think it looks like we're probably gonna be breaking one, two, two, maybe one, two, three. I'm not 100% sure. I do wanna try to farm the boxes, because some of these boxes could be additional eyes, which would be great. There's another box over here, by the way. And yeah, I definitely want the eye dwelling. And I want to farm that box. And really, after I farm the box over here with Shakti, double his mana, I'll think about kind of sending him out for the break. But I also do need to think about uh, doing this cons with somebody later. So we'll see. All right. On that note, let's go ahead and get a marketplace here as well. All right, so yeah, like I said, we do need to pour a man shock team. Now let's grab this artifact. Those scrolls could have been good to grab, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, we'll need to do this later. That fight, their poor man on a golem. Yeah, so there's what 49 56 57 oh wait uh that's 42 oh, so it's exactly 50 of them actually it's not that bad it's not that bad for that speed cape i could have potentially done it on shakti but it's all right let's um to be a little bit more safe i just really don't want to lose any eyes right now just pyre do that actually wait let's Dwarven treasury over here that I should try to do too. Soul mirror. Let's try to get some more gold over here. Good. And yeah, we need to buy shock team. And do I want to double his mana right now? Oh, double his mana with no mage gold. Yes, exactly. Well, there's haste at least. Okay. Still definitely doing that fight on shock team. All right, so let's go ahead and do this with shock team. Let's go. Okay. Easy. Advanced Earth and yes, <laughs> twenty-five evil eyes. That's perfect, actually. Uh, 
yeah, that is that is exactly what I want. Well, actually, beholders would have been even better, but evil eyes are perfect because we're gonna get like another 30 of them on week two, and that's gonna be 80 of them. That's gonna be 80 evil eyes, and that's how we're gonna be doing the break, guys. We're gonna be doing the break with the evil eyes. Uh, I think right now I'm probably gonna send Shakti for the box over here since we didn't get XP there. I do still need mass slow, and we can just double our mana. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. Uh, we're gonna send Shakti this way. Can carry a, and I can do the Dwarven Treasury with Shakti as well. Should I flag? Can I? Do I have the moves to flag this? Hold on, let me calculate this. Four, 1400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, should have enough. So flagging that just in case. All right, let's go for those vamps. Now, 51 evil eyes is really great. How are you doing? Okay. And the archery artifact, that's actually also nice. Cool. So we got some additional eyes here. Not gonna buy them just yet. So we'll need to buy them next turn anyway. And here, Shakti. Right, you're gonna do the Dwarven Treasury, then you're gonna fight the monks, um, the Pandora box, get the Pandora box, hopefully that is gonna be XP, and then poor mana and Arch Devils, and then after doubling mana, we're gonna go for the break. I don't even think we're gonna go for this cons, guys. We're just gonna be utilizing Mass Slow with our Evil Eyes, and uh, maybe also try to get the Cape of Velocity, and that's basically how we're gonna be doing the break. Uh, pyre, Pyre, Pyre. I'll send you over here as well. You can maybe do a crypt and whatnot on the way back. All right, let's go. I have a marketplace here, good, let's go. Right, let's go ahead and get some more gold here. I mean, it would still be really nice to get the crypt. All right, so we do have eyes, so 10 plus seven. So that's actually, what, 28, uh, 38, 38 eyes. No, wait, more than that. Um, another 14 here. So seven, seven, 14, that's 28, right? Yeah, 28, 35, 45. So that's nearly 100. So it's 96, 96 evil eyes, guys. And that's that's our stack. That's our power stack to do the break, basically, guys. So you see, even with a bad biome, even with a biome like this, it's still possible as long as you figure out what the biome gives you, you know, what the biome is trying to give you. And, um, and play accordingly. So one, two, two, maybe one, two, three break here. It's a mini treasury. Could have been at least a size two. It's really annoying. Okay, well, let's hope that the monks give us XP, I think. Actually, gold would not be too bad either. It's a lot of them. This be an interesting scroll and or box. Okay. Trogs lost, not bad. And yes, perfect. That is perfect. Expert offense. Uh, I can take logistics. Okay, nice. So now we're ready. Now we are pretty much ready to do the break. The only thing that we need is we need more money so that we can buy all of the eyes. Maybe try to do that cons if we can, but probably not. And uh, yeah, right now we just pour them on like so. 
Go ahead and grab the scroll air shield, yay. All right, and here we just pour him out and walked in, leave that on him. Actually, wait, we still, so we can buy Arla here for some additional meat. Mm. Okay, decent amount of gold here. Auras. Braun. All right, I think I get rid of Braun right now. Not sure if we can get that cons. I do want to get Arlach, so uh, you know that's more e uh, that's more eyes. Uh, some trogs as meat. Don't really care as much about Labetha though, because uh, I need to conserve my gold. And I wanted to buy Arlach before doing this, so that um, so that I wouldn't you know mess up Arlach like this. Replace him with Shakti uh, and not get that meat. Okay, so can carry him. All right, just trying to think here. I'm trying to think whether or not I'll be able to break on one, two, two. I'm actually kind of thinking it's going to be a one, two, three break. Lorelei. So what do I need? Uh, I need to buy all of the eyes. For that, I need as much gold as possible. Probably farm the Crypt and the Dwarven Treasury here with Laura Lay and try to get the Speed Cape and also try to get the Cons. There's also a Tabard and a Spell Power Chest and that's it. Really, we could try to break next turn, but I kind of doubt we'll be able to do that. Um, to be able to do that, what we need to do is we need to do that cons and we need to get that speed cape. Speed cape into cons. Um, and then dwarven treasury and this on the way out. Get as many eyes as possible right now. We need to buy Shakti, we need to buy all of the eyes. We also need to buy the eyes from here and buy the eyes from there. Might not be able to do that actually. So, you know, I think, I think we're gonna go for the speed cape and the cons. I don't think we're gonna go for these two dwellings. Yeah, so here we can chain with Kincaria, right? All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, I think. Oh, crap. Yeah, so I think right now, uh, we're, we're probably gonna go for, we're probably gonna skip these two eye dwellings um, and in favor of going for the cons and the speed cape. That's probably how we're gonna play this out. So let's go ahead and try to do that. All right. Lorelei, I'll send you over here so that we can get the additional evil eyes from here. Arlach. Okay, so let's get all of the evil eyes from here. Okay, 2.9k, that's perfect. So we can buy Shakti. Oh, wait, we also need to get the Mana Vortex. Okay. I would have also liked to do the crypt and the dwarven treasury over here, but I think we're just gonna go for breaking on one two one, or I mean one two two. So I think we're gonna be skipping that for now. Gunner, yeah, you're the one who's doing that. I uh, still really don't want to lose any evil eyes, but oh well. Oh nice, that's uh, we're actually accepting that, absolutely. We're absolutely accepting that. The scrolls, um, yeah those scrolls could have potentially been nice, but I don't really think that we have a whole lot 
uh, of room to maneuver. Okay. So we have the speed cape now. Horus. Right. Uh, I do think we're going to need Harpy one stocks, though, to go for that other cons. Whoops. Not like that. Hmm. I feel like I shouldn't have gotten rid of Brawn. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do the cons. Okay. Uh, in that case, in that case, let's just go ahead and do the Dwarven Treasury. Yeah, I can't do that, cons. So we're just going to be breaking on those evil eyes, guys. That's uh, that's pretty much the plan. Yeah, I can't do that, cons. Mini, of course. Yeah, if I um, didn't get rid of Brawn, then I potentially could have, but... Okay. Right, probably going to do the Crypt here as well. Let's go ahead and buy Shakti here. Let's double his mana. Okay. All right, and uh, yeah, that's that's basically how we're gonna be going for the break. So with uh, mass slow and our uh, like 80 something eyes, that's pretty much how that's gonna happen. All right, let's go. gold here yeah it would have been nice if we got uh, 14 more eyes from here and here but unfortunately that's not in the cards um, would have also been nice to get some more medusas here which I think I might still try to do I think I might still try to do Another Utopia in our biome. Yeah, great. If we only had the army to take those. Alright. Um, I do think I'm going to grab the Medusas here, though. They're going to help us tank a little bit. helps tank a little as well all right yeah and um, now all we really need is just some additional army whatever at this point I don't really care about the heroes that much Okay. And we're just going to max trade. Uh, so that we can upgrade the rest of these guys. And so that we can buy as many one stacks as possible here. And that's it. So yeah, the way we're doing the break is we're just trying to protect our troglodytes as much as possible. I mean, our, can we actually upgrade the Medusas? Sure. So the Medusas are basically tanking and troglodytes and angels are tanking and the evil eyes are doing damage. That's the plan. That's the plan over here, guys. Alright, 
Medusas and Harpies. Okay. We do have plus two morale. Uh, speed cape is really nice. We're going to be able to cover with tactics. We have a ballista to tank a little bit more. So I think we should be all right. You know what we can also do though? We can grab this box on the way there. Yeah, that could be more meat or something. So let's try to do that. In a real game, I probably wouldn't have done this. Nah, it's just 5k gold. In a real game, I probably wouldn't have done this so that I wouldn't waste the movement. But this demonstration here was basically just to show you guys so that this could be done, uh, you know, with a bad bomb. So we're breaking, we're breaking a freet on one, two, two with, you know, pretty much nothing in our bomb, right? Just two angels and the 86 evil eyes, right? Well calls 86 evil eyes nothing but still uh you know again though uh, let's do this first so auto combat can't do it but we should be able to there's no free sultan stack that's nice all right and um yeah i mean we're really just protecting ourselves as much as possible here gonna need to use mass slow okay wait 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 uh def 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 we're just gonna we're not gonna attack. Okay, uh, we can attack with the angels here like so. Nice. Okay, yeah, and we're just gonna continue to stay here like this. All right, so these guys die. I'm not gonna move the angels. Uh, do we need to re-slow? Yes, we do. I should have probably used shield. But not a whole lot of spell power is a little bit annoying. Okay, we're going to attack the last to move one. Nice. Okay. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do connect here. Let's do shield. All right. And there it is, guys. So you see, we were able to do 70 Ifrit Sultans with this piece of shit biome. Just uh, nothing in our biome really, and we were still able to break on one two two because we went for the eye dwellings. We went for the eye dwellings, and we realized that like, hey, you know, this biome is shit. So let's try to gather, you know, as much army as we can. And we ended up getting archery on Shakti because of that, and with the archery artifact, and just utilizing mass slow. We didn't roll earth magic, so we bought earth magic in the conflux town, yeah, and we ended up actually skipping this cons because honestly it wouldn't have helped that much in that fight but you know in a real game i probably would have tried to do it and also like i said i probably wouldn't have gone for that box here if we didn't get that evil eyes box then we probably would have delayed by like one more turn and gathered all of the uh dwellings and the medusas here and also probably would have done the cons so it would have been a little bit later but with 86 evil eyes i felt like that was um you know that was enough to go ahead and do the break with so um yeah let's just really quickly check what um these scrolls and these other boxes were i'm curious let's see what this cyclops box was 14 of them 10k xp okay uh, what about this scroll? Yeah, like this harpy hags, you know, a throng of harpy hags for a dragon cave. Dude, this is not possible. Armageddon. I mean, that's a nice scroll. Not against that break, though. Uh, so let me see what these scrolls were. Frenzy. Nope, wouldn't have really helped. Actually, it could have. Resurrection. Resurrection is nice. Resurrection would have been good. Um... Another box over here, that's not good. Let me check the Utopias real quick, just curious. <laughs> Maxi. 
Mm, pretty, pretty decent one. Pretty decent taupe here. Yeah, but not doable with the army that we had from our bottom size three. This one is shit. This one, this one was more realistic to go for, but it would have been bad. So yeah, going for biomes in our, or I mean, topes in our biome is always a gamble. Let me see what this was. This was a size two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So I hope this was a decent demonstration for you on how you can actually play a bad biome. Uh, you know, something where you don't have a lot of creature banks and, uh, you know, you don't really... Uh, know what your power stack is gonna be, you know, uh, you can still make do, like you can still manage as long as you play intelligently, as long as you understand what the biome is giving you and what you can do with that, you know, how you can tackle the break with what the biome has to give you, right? So in this game, I mean, honestly, uh, I probably would not have won, right? Uh, but at the same time, you know, I do feel satisfied when I play biomes like this, when they're bad and I'm still able to break relatively early. One, two, two break here was still pretty damn early if I say so myself. So, uh, yeah. Um, as soon as I have a game like this on stream where I have to deal with a bad biome, I'm also going to upload that. Uh, but yeah, I just felt like doing this video today as I haven't had uh, an unlucky game lately. So it's it's probably going to happen sometime soon now that I said it. Anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. Check out the Twitch stream, link in the description below, and I will see you guys soon. Peace out.